you for sharing that with us. I love that at the tabernacle you get it all. I like that dichotomy idea because that's what I do. I'm an extremist. You gotta go both directions and then you'll feel the middle much more solid than if you actually just live there. I don't know what that means, but it seemed to make sense to me. Um, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to welcome to the stage a true deacon of the Tabernacle of Hedonism who was here from the very beginning when we first dedicated this church in uh, 1982. And I'm talking about the club, not the year. The Reverend was doing the Tabernacle of Hedonism since before time immemorial. But in 1982, we all got together and we had deacons. And uh, Michael is one of the original deacons. Please welcome him to the stage so we can find out what is Michael Garvin wearing? Hey! Garvin! He's the best dressed of the deacons. I'm so sorry, my transitional music that I usually play to make the show seem professional, well, the phone's dead, so, you know, oh, fuck that, it's not happening. He's the best but, dressed man in Gainesville. Yeah, he probably is about, about one of the best dressed men in Gainesville. So let's find out. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Garvin, Deacon Garvin, what are you wearing tonight? Thank you, everybody. Steve, that's a pretty low bar, though. Yeah, well, that, that, yeah. That's, you know, yeah. It's pretty high. It's about, cool. They're the best yeah. stuff. It's, it's about summer. waist level. <laughs> Thanks. I was never the best dressed anybody in anywhere. So it's matter. I mean, we're all, all got, you know. <laughs> we're all got chill. Somebody's wearing purple sometimes. Like yeah. Donald Trump said. Oh. All right. Anyway. Oh. Here we go. What am I wearing? Okay. Tom, would you like to ask me what I'm wearing? Oh, yeah. Michael Garvin, what are you wearing? That's right, you already asked me like two minutes ago. Sorry about that. No, I'm wearing a pinstripe H&M hand-me-down. It's not a hand-me-down, actually I got a junior league. I found it for a dollar and fifty. Wow. Dollar wow. wow. well, fifty. It's a thing. You don't Linen hanky. Here we go. Linen, yeah. okay, I try to avoid you polo because like I don't like the, the insignia. Oh, I, I just, yeah, yeah linen, <laughs> just, just lust. Can't go wrong with linen polio. There's no That's talking, right. ma'am. Linen polio. I'm wearing a linen polio shirt, as we see. <laughs> also secondhand. Burn it! Green linen cotton pants. They're green? Also secondhand. Those are awesome. Socks are, are Colombian made, not Italian this time. Oh. And uh, Italian shoes. Second yeah. hand, two dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Grand total, I think eight dollars and seventy-five cents. <laughs> Damn! Thank you. Not including the underwear, which I'll spare you yeah. tonight. Yeah. All right, Tom. Uh, now for the second part. Yeah. And now we're going to do the second part of Mike's big act. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, don't forget there will be a quiz. What Michael does is Michael will wax poetic and give you all the information on things you never knew about. Obviously, one of the questions we're going to ask about is Easter, because that's coming up. And so why don't we start with that, and then we'll go to the audience. Michael, give us a minute or two on Easter. Originally, Estri was the goddess of dawn for the Anglo-Saxons. In the 600s, the Anglo-Saxons were converted to Christianity, and Easter... Uh, became the name of the festival of the recently imported Christian religion, which uh, is typically in most European countries called Pascal. Um, but actually, the traditions of Easter stretched back beyond Christianity into the ancient Near East of the old motif of birth and rebirth, uh, death and, and rebirth, uh, Adonis, Atis, uh, 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 Sibeli, and it, it, to an extent, it was an agricultural thing. Uh, this became uh, uh, formalized in Christianity, and so now the name of a, of a goddess common to all the Germanic peoples is the word that English-speaking peoples designate the Pascal season, Easter, res celebrating the resurrection of Christ. Thank you, Michael. And Michael, if I may indulge, that's very, very good early history, but Michael, I want you to take us from where you left off all the way to egg hunts. What, explain Easter Island. What are those big weird people? Hey, one thing at a time, lady. <laughs> right, separate, go ahead. Separate, separate topics. All right, all right. Yeah, egg, all right. Well, egg hunts. Egg right. hunts. Okay. Okay. Take, egg us, hunts. take us to egg hunts. Egg, egg hunts. hunts. <laughs> all right. Egg hunts. The usage of egg, not necessary. <laughs> of eggs in um, in Easter is 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 the, the symbolism hunch. is so obvious. I don't even need to go there because we have um, uh, a pre-Christian tradition <laughs> celebrating birth, and of course we have an egg and and, and some. 
Yes, cunts and eggs, and, uh, and we all know what that means. Um, Thank you, Mr. Rawls. Egg hunts in the, uh, I guess in the English-speaking tradition don't go back that far, actually. It seems like in Eastern Europe is where the whole thing uh, began. Well, like, okay, this is, this is prurient. And we in the Tabernacle of Hedonism are mature people and do not practice prurience. Whatever you said. Okay, next question. Okay, thank you, Michael. Thank you very much, thank Michael. You. On Easter, now we know. <laughs> they know what to expect when you when you have your egg hunt at the uh, church. Um, yeah, we're going to do one more question, and then then I have a surprise for everybody. So uh, we'll take it from you, the loudest of the parishioners. Okay. Yes, Steve, go ahead. the loudest and most had, disrespectful had, of the parishioners. I had a dumb question. I thought he might be able to answer, but he yeah. probably can't. Why do bad things happen to good people? That's an excellent, that's very good, thank you. That's been around a long time. Many people have wondered why good things happen to, or bad things happen to good people. Ladies and gentlemen, Deacon, Reverend, Michael Garvin. Steve, I only have one sentence for you. Does not compute. No, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage our local Thank fairy you. princess, no Michelle Lesueur, with a special secret surprise at the Tabernacle of Hedonism. You have a chance.